Good afternoon, I'm Sean Yao and this is One News Now. Chief Justice Justado Peralta says the Supreme Court will resume next month deliberations on ABS-CBN's petition against the cease and desist order issued to them by the National Telecommunications Commission. The country's top magistrate says the discussion will resume on July 13 or a full month after the embattled network requested for a temporary restraining order. ABS-CBN will have been forced off air for over two months by that time. Asked what's taking the High Court long to act on the network's CRO request, Peralta said they have just received comments on both or from the both chambers of Congress on the petition. However, he noted that it is not guaranteed that the Supreme Court could immediately decide on the petition come July 13. The Land Transportation Office will begin distributing the new color-coded plates for motorcycles next week. This comes after the agency issued the implementing rules on the Motorcycle Crime Prevention Act last month. LTO Chief Edgar Galvante says about 15,000 plates have arrived. And what this means is that those who will have their motorcycles registered next week may get their new plates. Also called the Doble Placa Law, the new scheme has received staunch opposition from the riding community, especially that its IRR was released amid the pandemic. Based on the new scheme, each motorcycle will be required to have two plates, a decal in front and a bigger metal plate at the back. President Duterte signed this into law in March 2019. And here are other stories we're keeping our eyes on. President Duterte will not be attending the Independence Day rites in Luneta tomorrow. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque says that Executive Secretary Salvador Medialdea will be representing him instead. Roque adds that the chief executive will still be in Davao by tomorrow. Senator Risa Ontiveros takes a swipe at the Bureau of Internal Revenue, or BIR, for requiring online sellers to register their businesses. Instead of going after online, seller, or online sellers, the senator asks, why not tap the Philippine offshore gaming operators or POGOs instead? Last February, the BIR bared that a majority of licensed POGOs have an estimated unpaid taxes of 50 billion pesos. Protesters in Virginia, USA threw a statue of Christopher Columbus into a lake. Anti-racism protesters worldwide have targeted monuments connected to racial oppression following the murder of African-American George Floyd. Columbus has been recognized as a symbol of conquest for many Native Americans. For more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star, and Business World Online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis or catch One News on the Signal Play app. Just register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Sean Yao and we are One News.